guys. Hello. Martha and Kamal here with week 10 of Meatless Monday. Welcome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. We're going to teach you guys how to make a really good breakfast sandwich with tofu Ooh. and sausage this week. Very good. Yummy. Let's get started. Okay, let me show you guys what we're going to cook today. This is from our book, The Vegan System. And as I said earlier, we are on week 10. Week Number Number 10. 10. Breakfast, Breakfast sandwich. sandwich with tofu and sausage. Yay. Let's show you what it looks like. Ooh, this yes. was like a total mistake. We just kind of put all this stuff together and man, it was Ew. good. And if you so want to see this go. picture again, it's on Instagram. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go through our ingredients. Okay, perfect. What we're going to use today is gimme lean sausage. Now we are using a veggie sausage style, not the ground beef style. Mm. A little bit of extra firm tofu. Mm. One of our really favorite cheeses is vegan chow cheese and we're using tomato cayenne today. A little this, bit spicy. That came out in the past couple years, huh? I think it's, yeah, I think it's a new product. Some tomato, mm -hmm. some onion, seasonings, we're using spike, a little pepper, ketchup, and grapeseed oil. That's mm. it. And our bread, right? Oh, oh my gosh. How, how did I forget? Our pretzel bread. Look at this. Ooh. Pretzel buns Bye. from Pretzilla. Mm -hmm. We are going to use about half of this tube of Gimme Lean. Now this is already pre-flavored. We don't have to add any spices to this at all. This is also really great in like a uh, Spaghetti sauce as well. Ooh. Or on top of a pizza. Or on a scrambled tofu. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I so love it. Great product. Tofu. We've been using Gimme Lean, oh my gosh, for probably years. I don't I want to say almost 20 years. Probably at least since I was in high school. So right. It's been over 15 years. And it's always the same, very consistent flavor. Mm hmm No craziness putting it in and making it not vegan, which we appreciate. Mm -hmm. Also, this product is good in rice balls. If you make Oh, Japanese wow. style rice balls. Cool. You can put that in the middle. I usually do that. Just gonna flatten this out a little bit so it's a little bit bigger, almost the size of our bread. Mmm. Pretty sticky, huh? It is. And we're gonna go ahead. This only takes about two to three minutes to each side. We're gonna go ahead and saute it in a tiny bit of grapeseed oil, and then we'll start on our tofu. But I like to cook this first. That way, the oil in the pan is kind of flavored, and then we throw our tofu in, and then our onions, and that's all the cooking really. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna saute these for a couple minutes on each side. The heat is on high. Still heating, so it might take about three minutes instead of two. Oops. <laughs> While Gimelin is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our tofu. This is extra firm, super firm tofu. It's already been washed and drained. What we're gonna do kind of big chunks. I love tofu. <laughs> I, I really do. Eight big chunks. Mm. About how big these would you say? You oh, want I don't an know. Inch, inch and a half or so, mm -hmm. square or something like that. All right, let's check on our gimme lean. Then a couple minutes on that side. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's nice. This one can be a little browner. Now here's what I want you guys to remember. These veggie meats are already pre-cooked, so you just have to cook them long enough just to heat them up and get them a little bit crispy. Don't overcook them. It's not necessary. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's not like you're cooking raw meat here. Mm-hmm. There's no bacteria to kill. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave our skillet on because the tofu is going in next. So this is all done. Less than five minutes. The tofu does need seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, we'll add a little spice and pepper. That's simple. Simple. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this smells good. <laughs> yeah, I like spikes. You can get low sodium or uh, sodium-free spikes as well. Mm. 
Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Let's flip these over. Ah. Mm -hmm. See, nice and crispy. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ease it down a little. <laughs> it sounds like it's singing. Oh, it sounds like it's screaming. <laughs> sounds like it's screaming all sad. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, now I'm sad. I know, me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great, these are done. Look at that. Uh huh. Yeah. Gosh, this was less than four minutes. So our pan is still on, it's still hot. Be careful. Because what we're going to do now, I'm going to add a teeny bit of oil, just a teeny. And we're going to just soften up our onions. Mmm, smart idea. Mm -hmm. So they don't taste so strong. Exactly. On the burger. And this already is flavored from the tofu and it's flavored from the gimme lean. The pan is, so it'll give our onions a nice consistency and flavor. Okay, now it's time to assemble our sandwiches and then we're going to pop them in the broiler for a couple minutes. Mm. So let's start with tofu. Now we have eight pieces because I like to put them side by side like this. So when we cut the sandwiches, it can be cut right down the middle section here. So each piece gets a nice fat chunk of tofu. <laughs> Put a little bit of ketchup on top. Mm. Ketchup just works so good with this recipe. It, and ketchup tastes good with sauteed tofu too. Yeah, it does. It really does. Just, yeah. Then we'll put some onions on. Mmm, I love sauteed onions. Mm-hmm. All right, give me lean, Patty. Nice thick slice of tomato. Mmm. A little more ketchup on top. Keep it moist. And we will add chow, our cheese. <laughs> it smells like nacho cheese. Does it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call cheese that isn't yours, Mom? Really? <laughs> nacho cheese. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. The only corny joke I know. <laughs> Okay, let's pop these in the broiler. Oh. Put the broiler on mm. high. We're gonna just put them in long enough to melt the cheese because everything else is already cooked. Great, it's been about two minutes. Your oven time may vary, but look, we just want the bread to be a little bit toasted. Uh huh. And the cheese oh. melted, of course. Wow. It smells so good because this is pretzel bread. It smells like a hot pretzel. Mm hmm. <laughs> Which I used to love. Hot pretzels and it's hard to find vegan ones, so it's nice to have vegan pretzel bread. Yeah, it's kind of sweet smelling. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I like pretzels. That's it, guys. Let's go ahead and close these up. Mm-hmm. Let me get. Wow, that that's amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So warm. And look at this from the side. Mm-hmm. Wow. And you know what time it is. Taste test time. Taste test. We're going to go ahead and cut it right in between the two pieces of tofu there. Yeah, that's a good idea. If I can make it happen. Yeah. Tomato makes it nice and juicy. Mmm. Mm. Nice big piece of tofu. Mm -hmm. And the tomato cayenne chow is excellent with ketchup and... And the gimme lean and exactly. tomato. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Hungry as usual. <laughs> yeah, right? It's lunchtime. Sounds crunchy, mm. that bread. Mm. I love gimme lean. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's so filling. Wow, it's a perfect combination. Wow. Mm -hmm. This bread sets it off too. Yeah, Pretzilla, we love you. <laughs>
<laughs> it's messy, guys, but it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. We're finishing this later. I know, right? <laughs> like, Finish right now, thing. later. Yeah, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Time for us to take off. Thanks for watching, guys. Come on, come on. Okay. We will see mm -hmm. you next week with another delicious recipe. Mm -hmm. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.